Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I want to thank every single one of you for taking the time out of your day to come over here, watch this video, and um, share the time with me. In this video, we're going to be talking about what I feel is the top three factors in what makes your stripes pop. So let's get into it. Alright guys, like I said, my name is Dylan with Solo Cuts Landscaping. I work full time, run a landscape company, and I'm just bringing you guys along the way, showing you my journey on what I go through working full time, running a landscape company, and uh, showing you some behind the scenes action, some day in the lives, and just some shop talk, kind of like we're doing right here. So like I said, in this video, we're going to be talking about what I think are the top three factors in what makes your stripes pop. So I'm not wanting to hold you guys up, so I want to make this a pretty quick video. Key factor number one is going to be having sharp blades and a clean deck. With having sharp blades, it's not going to tear the grass or shear it off. It's going to actually cut the grass. And also, with a clean deck, you're going to get a better vacuum, a better pool on that grass, which is going to give you a clean cut so if you're trying to stripe a lawn the cleaner the cut is the more precise those stripes are going to look which therefore is going to help give you those stripes you've been dying for the second factor is going to be the height at which you cut your grass we typically cut at three and a half and higher we really don't go below three and a half um, one is for the protection and safety of my equipment if you're going over where there's exposed roots or anything like that you have a less chance of hitting anything underneath the deck but the biggest reason for cutting at no less than three and a half is that's going to promote better grass root which is going to give yourself a healthier lawn also when you cut a three and a half you're leaving more grass available to be laid down and striped if you cut the grass at say like two and three quarter or three inches you're cutting the grass super short which is not going to give you much grass to lay down which is also going to affect the quality of lawn itself so if you're striving to have those awesome stripes I suggest you raise the cut height to be at least three and a half to four inches and that will give you the best stripes. Now keep in mind, that is for what grasses we cut here. Fescue, Kentucky Blue, Rye, that is for the cool season grasses that we cut here in Ohio. So it may be different where you are, but for here, three and a half to four inches is a great height to cut at if you're wanting those stripes. So we're going to head out to a couple of my properties and there I'm going to show you how the quality of lawn that you are cutting is going to directly affect how good your stripes are. All right guys, so here we are at a property um, that you will see is minimal grass. Minimal grass, it doesn't stripe well. It really doesn't. And this is my point I want to show you because um, after this, we are going to go look at a property that is a lush lawn and I'll show you how well it stripes. So um, obviously, I'm a one mower operation. So it's the same mower, same everything, just the quality of lawn is just not there. So as you can see, Minimal grass, a bunch of broadleaf, just not good. I mean, it's super thin, you can see the dirt, but clearly not much grass. We'll go on this side along because with where the sun is, the stripes should be more visible this way. So we'll show you what they look like. All right, there you can see just, you can see them but just barely. So if this is the type of yards that you're mainly cutting, you're not gonna have those bomb stripes that we go for because you don't have much grass. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you over to one of my other properties just down the street here in this neighborhood and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you have a lush lawn and how great the stripes stand out there. Like I said, keep in mind, it is super dry, so the yards are brown, but you will still be able to see the stripes. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to show you what a yard that um, that is a thick yard. There's not a lot of weeds, there's really none at all. Um, they do get treated. Don't mind how dry it is, like I said, because it is super dry right now. But anyways, this will go to show you though that the type of turf that you are cutting drastically affects your stripe capabilities because take a look at this. So as you can see, those stripes are far more prominent than the previous yard. That's because this is mainly all grass and that other one is mainly a weed patch. So every mower stripes, every mower cuts grass. Um, yes, some may do better than the other, but it all boils down to how good is the quality of turf that you are cutting. 
If you're cutting a weed patch, obviously it's not gonna be as prominent, but if you are cutting grass that is thick and lush, you are going to have those bomb stripes that we all strive for. So we're gonna finish this video up in the truck because it is super hot out here and I need to sit in some AC. So guys, this is just a couple quick tips on how you can get the best stripes possible out of the lawns you mow. Whether you're a homeowner or you're in business, I feel like what is in this video could help either or. So if you guys found any value in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Guys, smash that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. But as always guys, remember, do what you love, love what you do, and never, no, never stop. We will see you in the next one. Bye.